fish I ever caught. Oh. Hi, I'm Mike Deming, host of Sportsman's News Television. On this episode, we're up in Saskatchewan, Canada with platinum approved outfitter Rufo Sportsman's Lodge. These guys have been one of our endorsed outfitters many years, and this week, you're going to see exactly why. And if you watch till the very end of the show, we're going to show you how one lucky winner can come up here with us next summer to catch their share of big fish. Stick around, going to be a great show. Every day they go out of their way to make sure that you get whatever you can. The guides take their time and try to get you to fish and enjoy it. And there's a lot of big fish. You know, every day everybody's caught a lot of large fish. Um, it's pretty funny, but we spend a lot of time throwing back 36, 38, 39 inch fish and thinking they're dinks compared to what you would normally catch in the state. So. Yeah, baby, yeah! <laughs> Attaboy, Big Laker, Rufo Sportsman's Lodge. <laughs> About as good as it gets, brother. Doesn't do any better than this point. of the day here at Rufo Sportsman's Lodge. We just killed it. Probably 65, 70 fish total. Troy caught a Whopper Lake Trout and another just really, really good pike. Tons of these up here. Hard to believe we got a full week of this. Going to be tough to tolerate.
Right. Third. Your line touch the border, but it's going to burn them. He started already. Oh! <laughs> that is a freaking board trick right there, baby. I think the most important thing and the thing that I enjoyed the most being here was come up with a group of guys, whether you know them, whether it's family, um, or like our trip where I only knew one of the guys on the trip and you get to know and get close to new friends very quickly and whether you're with family you get a chance to spend time together grow closer together be in God's country look at this beautiful landscape be able to be on the water every day get back to nature uh, we pride ourselves on the quality of the guides that we have here and we feel that uh, for the value uh, that we have, this is one of the best places to go in Canada. If you like catching 40-inch pike, uh, you know, 20-pound lake trout, and 3 to 5-pound walleyes all day long. Nice fish. 41-inch fish. First good one of the day. Boom, towns and smokes a big one. Let him go. Let's go catch a bigger one. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> nice. Hi, <Hi>, Lunch. <laughs> he spent about 30 years on a on a bobber in a reservoir, and so didn't know what to expect coming on this trip. It's just been an amazing experience from the first trip out uh, from the dock. Uh, guides have been patient. They're really educational. Talk to you about what we're fishing for. You know what what we need to be doing differently. So it's it's been a phenomenal experience. We caught some good fish. You know, I think mainly uh, mainly for the fishing, number one, you know, because we got great fishing for the pike, the walleye, and we got some decent lake trout, but really our strong suit would be the big pike and the walleye. But we really like to think that our service is, is second to none and that uh, we have an edge over many camps, if not all camps in that department. So, And the scenery uh, and also the fact that we're not just fishing one big lake, but we're fishing a chain of lakes that make up a river system, so a flowage. So a lot of variety, you can fish different lakes every day so you're not always you know seeing the same water because of the latitude geographically that we're on uh, you know the habitat for those big pike is, is perfect and and so there's lots of food for them and and people can expect to catch an awful lot of fish in that you know mid 30s to mid 40s range uh, particularly if they fish hard and they have the right equipment uh, they're bound to do very very well and you know and catch a lot of nice big fish for those that uh, that do a lot of fishing uh, yeah, by all means bring your own and, and our website has a what to bring list that will give you all the information you need to come up you know, with everything you need to catch those big fish. But if not, we have everything you need here uh, to catch those big fish. You know, we've got the rods, the reels, and you know, all the terminal tackle. Uh, so if somebody wants to leave everything at home, we can outfit you with everything you need to catch, to catch the good fish here. We, we like to, you know, like we like to stock what, what works best and, and so that, you know, uh, if you are running low on anything, uh, we've always got it for you, you know. So, I mean, uh, it's, I learned when I was a little kid that, I mean, you never want to have just one of what works the best because you lose it and then you're out of business. So, so we've, got, we've got lots of what works best, so, so you know, no worries there. Big. 
That's a big fish, my friend. That is a big fish of my tackle. This is a fight, brother! Baby, keep it on. Get in the net! Yeah! fish I ever caught. That's the big daddy. <laughs> oh, that's a freaking slob. <laughs> that's a big fish. <laughs> Another great fish here at Rufo Sportsman's Lodge. Andrew, let me borrow a lure. I came to fly fish, which is usually just absolutely epic, but the sun is out, it's hot. These fish are a little bit deeper, and uh, thank God we've got a great guide with good quality tackle as well. Another good fish. Doesn't compare to that big 43 inch Jeff just caught, but plenty of these in here. I'm sure we'll get some more during the day. I got about a 30 inch northern in here. Oh, oh, and he tried to throw the hook. Not bad, that would have been some pretty good lunch, but the guy said let him go, we're going to do wallage. <laughs> we're just trying to get lunch, and I already caught one pretty decent pike, and I can see this, there's a shelf over here that this fish came off of. And I just watched it turn. This fish is really big. I got super lightweight tackle here. Just trying to uh, catch lunch. Go ahead and run the tape on it, man. Let's see where we're at. 42! 42! <laughs> <laughs> Life is good. Good as it gets right there, baby. That's why you come here. We've been hammering fish. We just talked to the other group of guys who got here to share lunch with us, and they've caught a lot of big fish, so it's definitely our day today, so hard to believe it's only lunchtime. Now we get to eat some good fried fish and uh, do the rest of the half a day. Still got two more days of fishing. Stick around. It's going to be exciting. One of our strongest suits, I think, uh, is our accommodations, and, and our guest cabins are are much larger than what most camps, uh, uh, which rather what you would expect in most lodges. Uh, uh, you know, they're very large uh, living quarters. Uh, they're either three or four bedrooms, sleeping two each. Lots of fully furnished living space, propane or oil heat. You've got two bathrooms, whether it's the six or eight person floor plan. So, you know, lots of room, very spacious, uh, and that's something that you just don't get at most resorts. You know, right off the hop in the morning, you know, come 6 o'clock. Now, of course, you know, if it's a couple and, and you don't want me walking in at 6 a.m., I totally understand. But normally I'll be around at 6 with, with coffee uh, uh, or hot chocolate if you've got a young fella or a young lady with you. Uh, and then breakfast is usually at 7, but you're never late for any meal. So, you know, it's vacation. If you want to sleep in, no worries. You know, you're obviously going to get your meals whenever you come into the dining room, you know. Uh, however, usually it's uh, 6 o'clock coffee and then 7 a.m. breakfast, and then we'll get you out fishing by 8. Uh, then normally Normally, uh, you'll fish till about noon, and then the guys will prepare you a delicious shore lunch, a freshly caught fish, uh, fried potatoes, onions, you know, and, the, and they'll mix it up too. I mean, they'll bake them some days, you know, uh, so you're not having the fried fish every day, but it's, it's, it's just awesome. Uh, and then usually fish till about 5 o'clock, head back to camp. Uh, then we'll have some hors d'oeuvres in the cabin for you. Uh, you know, take a little bit of a break, relax, uh, have a few drinks, uh, maybe play a little cards, and then come in and have 7 o'clock supper. And uh, then go back to the cabin and relax, go to sleep, and do it all over again the next day.
here targeting some uh, pike, and lo and behold, they catch a lake trout. Kind of a skinny little fella hanging out with the pike. Pretty green to the, I call it the sport fishing world. Uh, I've been walleye fishing a couple times back in Nebraska, but nothing huge. And the guides here have just been excellent with. Uh, with their knowledge and what to do, what not to do, you know, it's it's been great. They've I've learned a, a lot from these guys up here. That is good. What you just gave me was a piece of the grass that's coming up here, they call it an Indian carrot. Kind of a really light flavor. Tastes really good. Luck. Probably similar to a, an asparagus flavor almost. Liquor for lunch. Places to go fishing that I've been, this is probably one of the better ones. They really cater to the individual. Nice. Looks like lunch to me. Too big for lunch? Yeah. There's probably not many times where you spend less than five minutes not catch someone in the boat catching the fish. And that was, that's that's the most exciting thing and you don't know what's coming next. Seems that we have a major problem that all of the Lakers we're catching for lunch seem to be too big to eat so I guess that's a good problem to have. Hey, we had a great week here at Rufo Sportsman's Lodge in Saskatchewan, Canada. You know what, Rufo is just an absolute great guy, and that's what we expect when it's an owner and on-site operation like that. He's here, he greets you when you get off of the plane, shakes your hand with a smile, and it trickles down to every one of his staff. I mean, everybody's happy to be here, they're friendly. He's the first guy that you see when you come out, you get up in the morning, and he's also the first guy you see when you come into the dock during the end of the day. So there's a reason we endorse them as one of our platinum approved outfitters. They've been that way for numerous years. We visit places like this as a repeat visit just to make sure that they're maintaining quality and Rufo's definitely done that. You know what, they're going to sponsor our writing contest. So any story submitted between now and January of 2015 will have an opportunity to travel with us, the Sportsman's News team back here next summer to possibly catch your own big fish. And if you're just not a writer, you can log on to sportsmansnews.com and just register for our digital edition. One lucky winner will be up here as well. Hey, thanks for joining us on this episode of Sportsman's News Television. Tune in next month. We'll have another great show for you. Sportsman's News Television is brought to you by Vortex Optics, the force of optics. Sitka, turning clothing into gear. CVA, it's just a better gun. Bushnell Trophy Cams, bulletproof reliability for life. Double Tap Ammunition, handcrafted American-made precision ammunition. St. Croix Fishing Rods, the best rods on earth. And by Jumping Jack, from trailer to tent in five minutes.